I see you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time.
you a right mutter, traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Friend, <laughs> glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? Riggs, and no worries. There was a time when helping each other survive was all we had left. Around here, we don't forget those days if we can help it. Your friend's gonna be all right, by the way. I've seen weaker pull out of worse. What were you doing out there? Uh, you don't mind me asking? Really? <laughs> What'd you hear exactly? Well, you found it. That's what these folks were for me, anyway. Couple times over. They'll do for you too, if you've got the hands and heart to join them. Given how you've been watching over the little scuffler in the med bay there, I'd say you'll feel right at home. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. That sounds like Bravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? Damn right it sounds crazy, but that's how I know you ain't lying. Only Wally would do that to a person. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So, either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it.
That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Good. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. You look like you could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Then let's not waste any more time. This way. Smells like home. Here, take this. Just crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about them. It was a matter of national security. Of pride. So? Yeah, we open the door and walk through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, huh. we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here some. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it?
That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on. There you are. Hurry up. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. The world stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now. Let's see if that worked. Work to do what, exactly? <laughs> Holy shit! So many years. So many... Journeys. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if the Andrew Ford who first touched this crystal did he ever come back? Go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford? Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. <sighs> that bastard did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey, did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Stop slipping! Don't let it take me! <laughs> Clementine! Shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! Oh no no no! Don't do it! Don't you do it! Oh, this is so stupid!
Where are you guys? This is all insane! Both the Crystal and Ford! I better get moving if I'm gonna find Clementine. Wait, 
More bad news. Far enough. Paxotec. It stands before the Eternal Empress, mistress of the Red Court, favored of the Thane. Yet it is nothing. Hoofless, feckless, interloper. Easy now. And where it stands, it dies. Oh, maybe we could talk about this? What woes does it bring this time? Her Majesty is unsurprised by its solipsism. From the Krell to Ford to the Destroyer, Paxotec ever served the wants of the self. <sighs> There is no name more cursed in these royal halls. When the pestilence came, Ford succored the schismatics. Treachery turned to ruin. Ruin 
to desperation. Her Majesty would see Ford bleed, would see all Paxotech put to the blade. But the Paxotech prowess is fearful. Ford, the Destroyer, and others were staggering, undeniable. Perhaps Paxotech's strength can serve to liberate rather than oppress. Her Majesty, in her eternal wisdom, will grant it grace. The Paxotech's life in exchange for another's. Her permanence has spent many lifetimes communing with the Thane. The Holy Tree grants euthanasia, but also clarity. The Paxotech needs salvation, power to overcome the only true enemy. Do not demure, for it has not the guile to see beyond her eternity. All dance to the same world song. Different notes, different parts, same tune. The Paxotech seeks knowledge of its clementine. This knowledge is neither gift nor reward, and yet arrives as both. To acquire her eternity's grace, it must prove itself loyal. For her majesty will not suffer another transgressor. It deserves death, yet spits at the alternative. Her infinitude is too gracious. Yet, let it decide. Her permanence savors either outcome. She desires only to bring the Nunyatov back to the pen. To draw her people back from the abyss created by the Sundering. But the abomination bedevils her will. A horror, wretched in her sight. Let the Paxotech face this dark spirit. Be not her bane, but her blade. Then the Paxotech shall have its reward. The path to desire is neither easy nor safe. Go forth, Blade. Cut away the rot that plagues this world. Prove there is one Paxotech that is more useful living than dead. What is it, Paxotech? Be brief. Even too frequent supplication tests her eternity's grace. Does it need a reason to obey eternity? Perhaps hating the fiend as we do would sharpen its edge. We once had a guardian, a god of many faces. This one of many was destroyed by Paxotech. And now, in the guardian's rotting remains, root and ruin have entwined into a horror and mockery of divinity. Many has her eternity sent. She has yet to hear of their success. Paxotec, however, have an unrivaled capacity for death and disruption. Her permanence would see it used for the good of Pan for once. Ah, 
Haxeltex sundered the sane, trained the rebellious, and slaughtered the divine. Never has one walked into our world without defiling our peace. Her eternity suffers this one, only to undo but one sin among many. Peace and greatness, Paxotec. Nunyutav will once again return to the Eternal Court, bringing immortality to the deserved. And the Deathless One will put her hoof through the black heart of the Root. The end of the Root is a blessing to all. Her eternity aches to sing them into oblivion. Squander not the Empress's mercy. You're alive! Where's... What happened? <sighs> I knew the Founder was up to something. I mean, who else wants to visit the Old Ward, huh? Look, uh, I'm sorry you got involved in this, Traveler. So, uh, then what happened? Wait, what? Clementine? Where is she? Is she okay? Right, right, sorry. I mean, Clementine, she, she means a lot to all of us. We gotta find her. I'll get everybody together. If she went through the World Stone, she, she could be anywhere. Yeah, damn straight you could. She could be anywhere, like, like, Worlds away. All right, I'll get Brabus and Riggs. I'll tell them to, to. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I don't know what's out there any more than you do. Oh, I, I'd be putting the whole town at risk. Clem wouldn't want that. Hell, it's a miracle you came back. Oh, I'm sorry. Town will help you all it can, but I can't ask anyone to go out there. We gotta trust you to find her. Is that? Is that all right? Thanks, Traveler. Talk to the folks around town. They should have any supplies you need. <laughs> you, you know, Ford used to tell me, old Commander Ford, not the Founder, that a leader and a hero are two different things. The leader's place is always with her people. 
I thought she was just taking a dig at her grandfather for leaving all the time, but I think I'm starting to understand her better now. Stay safe, traveler. do for you.
pretty safe out there. Take care, my friend. <laughs> 